This is Queen the Greatest, in which we head back to 2005 to celebrate a collaboration that rocked the cosmos. It's Queen plus Paul Rogers. Oh, you're gonna take me home tonight. Oh, down beside that red fine line. Oh, you're gonna let it all hang out, fat bottom girls. You make the rocket world go round. I always held out hope because Brian and Roger, you don't want to keep that. Lamborghini in the garage. You know, you gotta drive that car every once in a while. So I was hoping that they would find someone. We've done odd gigs, you know, as Queen in a sense, you know, using guest artists. Um, it was just, I remember saying not many months ago when somebody said, you know, can you do a Queen tour? Can you call it Queen? And I said, well, no, not really, not barring a miracle. If, we, if there's a miracle that we find the right person to sing, then yes. Lately I've been hard to read. Too long Even though we were proud of what we'd done, we didn't want to go out there and be Queen again without Freddie. And it happened almost by accident. At an award show, I played with Paul Rogers, who's a hero of ours. And I remember coming off stage and Paul's lady said, oh, you guys seem to really have a great chemistry. All you need is a drummer. And I went, well, I, I think I know a drummer. <laughs> Brian and I find that we still have the magic on stage. So it's great to be doing this with, with a different singer, but it, 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 the magic of Queen is absolutely still there. The first tour comprised of 41 dates across Europe, the USA and Japan, seeing Queen return to famous venues such as London's Hyde Park and the Hollywood Bowl in LA. This was followed a year later with another North American tour. He enjoyed playing a lot of the Queen stuff, not all of it, you know, not all of it suited him, but it was a good combination for a while. We ended up going all around the world a couple of times with Paul. I would still go to shows and think, well, we used to do that, you know, we used to play in arenas or whatever. And... Suddenly, out of the blue, we are in the same arena again. And how incredible that we can still do that. People still want to come and fill those arenas and we can still rock the hell out of them. He was his own man and he belonged in the sort of blues soul Field, uh, which there is no, there are no better. Roger, Brian, and Paul next took their partnership into the studio, which resulted in the Cosmos Rocks album. This was to be followed by another massive tour that, as well as spanning Europe and South America, would see Queen finally get to perform in Russia. But to start things off, the band first went to Kiev's Freedom Square to perform in front of a staggering crowd of 350,000 people. At the end of the tour, Queen and Paul decided the time was right to go their separate ways having achieved far more than imagined at the outset. And again, I think Roger and I thought, OK, that's it. You know, we've done that, we've done this, you know, and there is nobody out there. We don't want to employ someone to copy Freddie. Why would we do that? It just wouldn't make sense. As it turned out, fate was about to play a hand in introducing Brian and Roger to another remarkable singer. Big disgrace, kicking your can all over the place, singing We will 